We are joined here today by William Morrison. William, thank you for your time this morning. Of course. Hey, William. Second straight gold medal at the SEAG, uh, throwing 18.14 meters in Hanoi. Um, let me ask you, let's get right to it. Was there anything different about this year? And how does it feel to bring the medal back to the Philippines? Um, yeah, it was definitely different since I'm no longer training with my uh, old college. Uh -huh. I, I left them after the COVID uh, started happening. So I took about, I took two years off completely. I wasn't doing any training. I wasn't lifting. I wasn't throwing at all. And uh -huh. I'm just, I'm lucky that the Patapa allowed me to come back on the team, defend my title. Mm -hmm. So it was just basically me. I, I kind of trained with my old high school coach for a little bit. And then, but it was a lot of just on my own, mm -hmm. doing all my own rehab, doing writing my own training and stuff. She helped me with the, the weights and stuff. But it was very hard mentally trying to get back into it because I didn't really have like a training group or anything yeah. like that. Sure. But yeah. I'm just happy that I could get the gold, bring it back, you know? Absolutely. And uh, what, what, what a year it's been. Um, again, we are joined by William Morrison, two time. Southeast Asian Games gold winner, uh, a native of Leavenworth, Kansas, and a product of India University. Uh, uh, a proud Hoosier, Hoosier, as we would say. Hey, you, you got to, um, you touched a little bit on it about the training, right? Um, and obviously the whole world um, had to find their own ways and how to train, how to get ready. Um, tell me, how did the pandemic affect you in a sense, right? How difficult was it for you? Or as you mentioned, you had to find ways in order to do things yourself. Um, what were the challenges that you had to face leading up to this year's CI game? Um, definitely trying to find a place just to be able to throw at. Yeah. Um, a lot of schools near where I'm, where I'm currently residing in Kansas City, um, a lot of them denied me going to practice there. They were like, nah, you just can't come. You can't throw here. You can't do that. So there were a few times where I found myself just training in parking lots, in parks, throwing into just open grass and stuff like that, because my old high school is about 30 minutes away from me. So driving there every day is it's a lot of driving. But then I ended up finding a really cool gym in Kansas City. Um, it was like straight Olympic lifting gym. So that was nice. But still having to drive about two, two and a half hours of driving every single day to train. But that's the only difficult part. But then once I get there, it's great. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things that uh, impressed, well, amongst many things that, that uh, impressed me about you was your preparation and also your dedication to your craft. Um, when we were prepping for, for SEAG this year, um, you were one of the first, if not the first athlete to be in Manila to prepare for Hanoi, right? Um, you know, why was it important for you to get to Manila early before traveling to, uh, to Hanoi? Um, definitely the time difference. I really wanted my body to just get used to that because the first two games, I kind of just flew in, competed and flew out. So this time I really wanted to get to Manila, train and compete at the Philippine Nationals because I've never been able to just, just train and focus on that. I've always, that's always just been like a small part of the day, but being able to make that my main focus every day allowed me to just really mentally prepare for it. Sure. And I'm, I'm really glad I did that because at the SEA Games, you know, best season best and yeah. was able to defend the title, you know? Absolutely. And also the weather, although we can kind of argue the weather in Kansas <laughs> on, on, on different times of the year can be, can be, yeah, it can be pretty hot out there. You can get pretty hot, but the, the acclimation of the weather um, probably uh, is one of the one, one of the also one of the main reasons why you would probably want to want to get there a little bit early. Definitely. Hey, Will, what's next for you? Uh, where are you right now? I, I know that you recently competed in London, Ontario, uh, having placed second. Tell me about that event and, and what's next. Um, I believe you're also competing tomorrow uh, in Toronto. Tell me about what what you're doing now and what's next. Yeah, so I'm um, I'm up in Ontario, Canada. I competed in London. Um, last week, I threw 1787, which is the second farthest throw this season. So I'm not too upset, mm -hmm. um, especially because it was just a few days after traveling. Um, but now I'm currently just training in Guelph with one of my friends. He is a coach at the university. So he's been allowing me to train up here, which is nice. And then tomorrow, 
I'm going to be competing in a, it's almost, it's like a mixed shop, but men and women are going to be going at the same time in, in, well, the, so the meet is in at Guelph, but then they're taking the shot put out to Toronto to make it like a little spectacle for the spectators and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. There's going to be some really good com competitors, especially on the women's side. There's going to be some 19 meter women shot putters out there. So it's going to be legit. Okay. It's going to be well, great. Well, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to text me and let me know how that is so we can update uh, all, all your supporters, you know, both here in the States and back in the Philippines. For sure. Hey, Will, fun part of the segment here, uh, rapid fire. I'm going to ask you a couple questions and you have to think right away and answer it okay. right away. Okay, so here we go. First thing, what was your favorite thing and favorite place about Vietnam? My favorite thing was being able to eat pho every single morning. <laughs> beef, beef pho with the chili paste, that was real good. My favorite thing was how easy it was to get around and travel over there. Got it. What's the competition music or what's what's currently on your iPhone that you listen to prior to an event? Um, definitely, I like listening to Future, his new album came out, or listening to a little bit of Drake. <laughs> I'm gonna have to download that. I'm gonna see what that's all about. Um, if Will, or, or or better known as Willapino, one of my favorite names out there, was not an athlete competing at the highest level in shot put, what would you be doing? Um, I would probably be doing more fashion shows because that's okay. something that i did when i took a break i actually showcased my designs at a show okay but i'll probably just be doing that you know i'm gonna have to connect you with my cousin his name is Jot losa he's he's one of the uh up and coming well one of the top fashion designers in manila um, oh really get you guys together and uh you know exchange some ideas hey, um, be awesome. yeah what's your go-to meal that you can make and cook um i really like to make butter chicken with naan at home uh, really with some rice okay that's uh, indian right i believe yeah that's okay. indian dish well I, i'm gonna i'm gonna have to uh, i love indian food so i'm gonna have to uh, get together with you and see what that's all about or you know oh, what yeah. let's, let's do a segment after this let's you tell us what the recipe is if you can share it and we can have our fans uh try see if they can make it themselves the recipe oh see i don't really know the recipe like that <laughs> <laughs> I just buy the uh, sauce and I cook. I just cook everything <laughs> with it. And I just, you know, I just get the little sauce from the store. <laughs> you look, you look, you look. Okay. Hey, lastly, Will, uh, I'm gonna give the floor to you. Um, you know, this is your time. If there's anyone you want to thank, um, a, a message for all your supporters and your followers. Um, this is your time. Yeah, I want to just thank Patafa and everybody on that side, PSC, everybody who was helping me get through uh, training and. Uh, allowing me to be on the team. Definitely want to shout out to the Baguio training group that I was with because, you know, sometimes it's, it's hard just training every single day. That's all you do. But luckily out there, they helped me get through it. It was fun. Um, I'm very thankful for them. And Coach Arnell, who helped me pretty much every single day while I was overseas. So, yeah, I love them over there. Like, they're they're awesome. Like, I really appreciate them. Awesome. Well, Will, I sincerely thank you for your time on behalf of, of our staff. Uh, it's always a pleasure speaking with you and keeping uh, keeping up to date with what you're doing. And, you know, you have fans here that will be pulling for you tomorrow and your future uh, events. Um, for all the guys that want to follow out there, uh, Instagram uh, is at Willipino. That's W-I-L-I-P-I-N-O. Uh, yep. I believe you're also on TikTok. Uh, so yes. please follow Will, uh, one of our uh, current brightest and uh, stars in Philippine athletics. Will, thank you for your time.